Do I have to continue learning forever as a developer? Let's get into it. We're going to talk about this topic right now. Very good topic. So stay tuned. All right, cool. So why am I talking about this? I got a comment in here. Shout out to this individual, badass 6300, <laughs> right? Uh, very creative, right? He said, so basically no life even after you get a job, right? And he was talking about a video that I did maybe like six, seven years ago. Um, I forgot how to code. What do I do now? <laughs> okay. And in this video, I talked about how you can actually forget not how to actually code, but you're going to forget a lot of things if you don't actually practice, if you don't actually code. And I mentioned in there that, yes, you should code after you get home, right? Even after you have a job, you should try to keep up with the industry, even if it's just paying attention to it, okay? You should never come in with this mentality that, hey, man, as soon as I get a job, I learn how to code, I got a job, and that's it. I don't have to learn anything and I just got a job that doesn't work with high level skills. Okay. That works for low level skills. Okay. And let me explain that to you guys. Okay. Um, and I'm going to go and talk about also to the fact that guess what? You don't have to keep on learning, right? There's ways that you can also have a life because this is the comment that he said. So basically no life after getting a job, right? That was his, <laughs> his comment. He's like, damn, basically no life. But the truth is that, yes, you could definitely have a life as a developer. Now, let me explain this to you guys as far as low-level skills and high-level skills, how this works. Because some of you guys, it seems like, yeah, I don't know. Okay? So here's Bob, right? Now, Bob has basically no skills to low level skills, right? Let's say he works at McDonald's. Let's say he works at a warehouse. Let's say he does Uber. Let's say he, he does something that is just basically at a low tier. You work at Publix and your job is to take the food out of the truck and put it on the aisles. Guess what? You get trained one time on that job. They tell you, Hey, this is your job. This is what you got to do every day. This is your schedule. And that's it. Technically, you don't have to learn anything else after that because it's a job that's repetitive and that's all you have to do. Guess what? This is a low level skill. Okay. This right here is going to get you starting $10 to $15. But guess what? It's comfortable, right? In the sense that you don't have to learn anything. You just show up every single day to work until the day they fire you or until the day you retire or you die. Right? You just continue going there. You start at $10 to $15 an hour. Okay? You might be surprised. Like, damn, $10. How does somebody survive with $10? Guys, the minimum wage, I think, is like $7.25. $7.25 in, in, you know, federally. Right? So not every state or every industry is paying even $15. Okay? But let's say you started at $10 to $15. Right? You could spend 10 years doing the same job and they'll nickel and dime you to death. Every single year, they'll add an extra 50 cents. They'll add an extra dollar, right? They'll add, maybe if you're a good worker and they like you and you show up every single day and they have your picture on the wall as employee of the month, they'll come in and give you a little extra. But you could spend five to 10 years in this job because it is a low skill job, right? And I'm not downplaying those jobs. Those are jobs that are actually essential. We need those people to have those type of jobs and we need somebody to do that type of work. But you also have to understand that if you want to make more money, you need to go for a high level skill, right? So when you become a developer, this is a high level skill that you have to maintain, okay? The industry changes and you also have to maintain those skills depending on how the industry goes. So again, 10 years from now, you could be making 18 to $20, right? Or 22. And, and if you're lucky, you might make 25. I know people right now that work in retail, that they've been at a company like Macy's, uh, like freaking Foot Locker, and they haven't even cracked $25 after 10 years. Okay? Again, they're just doing their job. And they're showing up. Guess what? They trained you one time. You watch maybe one video. Uh, you know, here's the exit. Here's the, the, the fire extinguisher, etc. That's the training that they gave you. You didn't have to learn any other skills other than that. Guess what? This is why you get paid this. Okay? It's not personal. It's business. Okay? That's just how the world works. 
Now, here's James, okay? James has a high-level skill. I'm going to give you some examples of high-level skills, okay? You have things like development. You have things like being a doctor. You have things like being a dentist. You have things being like even a lawyer. You have things like, shoot, you name all the high-level skills below, okay? Every single industry needs their workers to actually keep up with what's happening in that industry when you have a high-level skill. Okay, but guess what? This is the difference of a high level skill and a low level skill. You start at $30 to $50 an hour. Okay, you're getting paid pretty good. You're making more than Bob does in 10 years. This is your starting point. Now, for you to maintain and continue to grow, guess what? You're going to have to go to conferences, right? If you're a doctor, I work with dentists, I work with doctors building their websites. And I know they go to conferences, they go to um, different events to learn about new tools to do surgery and to do things like that. Cool. That's how they're able to go in and continue making more money over time. A guy that learned how to do surgery in 1998 has to keep track of all of the new technologies that's coming up for him to do surgery. It's the same thing for us as developers, okay? We have to go in and pay attention to what's happening in the industry, right? So we can actually go and make more money. And also to don't get left behind. This is an industry that you literally have to go in and learn new skills every year. Or just update and upgrade your skills that you have. And that's how you're going to be able to go in and say, well, you know, if we look at somebody in five years to 10 years, literally are making 80 to $150 an hour. Bob, no matter what he does in this job, because he never leveled up, he never did any other uh, training, he never took that seminar that they sent him to go to, you know, to become a manager, right? You could, you could be at McDonald's, right? I'm giving you a great example. You could work at McDonald's. And you could spend years in there and not get any type of promotion. But they do give you the opportunities if you look for them. They're not going to put it in front of you. You're going to have to go into corporate and look into it. They have training that they could go and teach you about being a manager, how to open up your own McDonald's. And I'm just giving you just that example. But guess what? You got to go out of your way to continue your education. You have to continue to learn. If not, you're going to be right here. You ever seen those videos on the news where a guy goes in and basically spends 15, 25 or something like that, 30 years at McDonald's and the co-workers have to go in and pitch uh, together and, 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 and basically build like a GoFundMe so he could retire? Guess what? That person didn't get to go in and do the, the, the things that they needed to do for them to grow. So if you decide, hey, I just want to stay right here. I don't want to learn anything else beyond with what already got me hired. Guess what? You're going to stay at that same point. Now, let's talk about developers, right? You could do the same thing. There's guys that became .NET developers in, let's say, 2008. And to this day, that's all they do, right? But guess what happens? If one of these days a company drops them off, right, and, and, and kicks them out and lay them, lays them off, they're going to come back in and they're going to say, damn, the industry has changed so much. There's no JS, there's Python, there's this, this, and that. And guess what? Now they got to start from scratch when they could have just been learning all of those skills little by little just by paying attention to the industry, right? This happens even in development. There's people that get stuck in one state, right? There's people that stuck in, in, in 2015, that's as far as they learned. They had a job, but now in 2024, they got laid off, and now they're struggling to find a job because they never kept up with what's happening in the industry, okay? So this can happen. Now, as far as the work-life balance, once you have a job, no one is telling you to go in and code every single day when you come home. No. The majority of people are not like me. The majority of people are not entrepreneurs. They're not... Uh, you know, people that want to go in and build side, you know, side income and things like that. They don't want to do that shit. They just go to work and that's it. But guess what? They give one day out of the week 
right? They maybe look at some YouTube videos, see what's happening in the industry. And when they see that there's a technology that has like a potential, right? They'll go in and learn it. And maybe out of the whole year, maybe you, you spend, you know, a month of learning, right? Learning new skill. But that helps you land your next position, right? So you have 11 months that you could just take it chill, right? And just chill out and, 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 you know, enjoy your life. Go to the gym, hang out with your kids, take your dog out to piss. You know what I'm saying? Do something. Go get a girlfriend, right? <laughs> like there's a million things that you can do. It doesn't mean that you have to code every single day. You know who codes every single day? And when they come home, the guys that's building open source, the guys that are building libraries, the guys that's trying to level themselves up to a higher standard, the guys who are entrepreneurs. But that's such a small amount of people. That's not even 10% of the industry. The majority of developers come home and relax and play their games and play with their little Arduinos, you know, play, you know, Super Nintendo for, you know, retro games and shit like that. They chill out. So this idea that you think like, oh my God, I'm going to have to learn forever. No, it's not like that. You can literally just chill out and learn new skills as you go over time and as your job requires you. But if you want to make money and you want to be in a high level skill, you're going to have to continue your education. That's just how life goes. Okay? So yes, <laughs> you're going to have to learn. Now guys, hopefully this video was really useful for some of you guys to understand this, right? Where do you want to be? At the low level skills or you want to be at the high level skills? Do you want to go in and say, well, in 10 years, I made around, you know, three to five million dollars? Or do you want to go in and say, well, in 10 years, I didn't even crack $250,000? You get what I'm saying? That happens. It might seem crazy, but that happens. There's people that even in 10 years, they never even seen $250,000 together. There's people that will never be able to buy a house. There's people that, you know, riding around with a 2001 Honda Civic, 300,000 miles, then they cannot afford to buy a new car. Now, again, it's all type of situations that people can be going through, but you have to understand where do you want to be at? Do you want to be at the low skill level or do you want to be at the high level? It's up to you. Okay. That's all I can say. Now, for anybody that's watching this right now, okay, I want to go in and let you guys know that right now we are having a back to school giveaway, right? It's a sale on codingphase.com. Okay. When you come to codingphase.com, you click on the link on the description. Okay. It's very simple. We're going to give you 40% off. Okay. This program works. We teach you how to code, right? We teach you the skills that you need to be able to get jobs, web producer, email developer, front end developer, Shopify developer, back end developer, full stack developer. We give you the whole rundown. We teach you all of those skills gradually so you don't feel overwhelmed right you spend six months a year at coding phase by the next year you're going to be literally a full stack developer knowing not just one skill but knowing all of the skills one by one gradually making it very simple and easy for you guys to learn again you're getting over 90 plus courses you're getting the tech accelerator program literally the best program that works and has been getting people hired literally in two months, right? I've seen people come in that have some type of experience learning in other platforms and then two months they get hired. I've seen people coming from scratch and in three to four months, they're already working. So in under six months, you're already in the game. So if you want to come in and you want to check this out, definitely take the time, click on the description, right? Check the link. I'm going to also pin the link on the comment, okay? When you come to Coding Face, you're going to get $10,000 worth of value, okay? Not only that, we're also going to give you 40% off. And when you sign up with that specific link in that coupon code, which is Back to School Giveaway, right? Or Back to School 2024, 20, right? Back to School 24, um, you're going to basically get 40% off, okay? You go over here, you can look at the numbers, right? $60 on a monthly right? If you just want to sign up for one month, 
Guess what? For the Diamond membership, if you want to go in and cover your six months, which basically you pay $40 a month for $240, okay? And for a whole year, $480. It's very straightforward. We're going to basically give you all of the courses. We're going to go in and give you everything that we have in the program. But then not only that, 12 hours of group coaching for you every single month, helping you out with your portfolio. I'm helping you out myself. Okay. Now, if you still like, I don't know if this is for me, you could even come in and book a session with me. Okay. Book a call. Literally, you click this button, you come in, takes you to this page. You choose the time and date that you want to actually go in and do this meeting and voila, you're going to be fine. Okay. You choose the date. I might even do it on a Sunday, right? To make it easy for you. Okay. So, Take advantage. Now, again, come to Coding Phase, check it out. We're giving a brand new MacBook to one of you guys who actually signed up for this month. Um, and yeah, take advantage. And anybody that's already a member of Coding Phase, whoever comes in and says, hey, I want to buy it now, um, you can actually basically pay for your subscription ahead of time. And that puts you inside of the giveaway. So every single person here has a chance of winning this. Now, going back to the topic before we get out of here, guys, you want to be in the high level, okay? You do not want to be here, okay? You don't want to be with Bob. You want to be with James, okay? And the only way you're going to do that is by continuing your education. It's not by just learning one skill one time and staying right there and saying, that's it, I made my life easy and I never have to learn anything, okay? Because then you're going to get this results 10 years from now instead of getting this results. Okay, so I'll see you guys later. Take care.